now for Sid Six Zero. This is where I get 60 seconds to talk about anything from my house. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. Canadian hockey fans are a little confused right now. And when you look at the visuals, I can't say that I blame them. In this country, hockey buildings are shutting fans out left and right due to Omicron. Meanwhile, in the States, different story. This is a tweet that former Leafs goaltender Andrew Raycroft and current analyst sent out into the Twitterverse recently. Take a look. On the left, that's what Scotiabank Arena looked like Saturday for the Leafs Sens game. Carlton the Bear is the only fan present, and he's paid to be there. On the right, the NHL's Winter Classic in Minnesota on New Year's Day. Nearly 40,000 people showed up in minus 25 degree wind chill to watch the Wild take on St. Louis. And the only caption on Raycroft's tweet said simply, same league. Now, I know this is frustrating for a lot of Leaf fans and fans across Canada, but this country does things a little differently than America does, and I'm glad I'm on this side of the border. Jeff Merrick from the Jeff Merrick Show on Sportsnet 590, The Fan, and 32 Thoughts, the podcast, and Hockey Night in Canada, and Merrick Mondays here on Breakfast Television has been kind enough to join us. Uh, <laughs> Jeffy, great great to see you. The, uh, uh, again, yep. the tarps out at Scotiabank Saturday, no fans. It's, not, it's a visual we are semi-used to. What were your emotions looking at that? Yeah, I uh, didn't like it. Brought us all back to last season and to the Andrew Raycroft tweet about Carlton the Bear. I don't care if there's no one in the stands. Carlton, please put on pants. Why do we have the only <laughs> mascot in Toronto who doesn't wear pants? Put on some pants, mascot. Um, yeah, it doesn't look good. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, this is not something that the Maple Leafs want to do. This is not something the NHL wants to do. The NHL would like to keep you know, the Toronto Maple Leafs from playing home games. Uh, the Montreal Canadiens from playing home games. Uh, they'd like to keep them away from that until attendance levels are able to rise. I mean, the Toronto Maple Leafs, I mean, that's a $4 million gate or pretty close to it. You know, the Montreal Canadiens, that's a $3 million gate or pretty close to it. And that's money that's not coming back at all. But these are two teams or hockey operations departments are both saying, like, look, we need to play here. Um, you know, us at Sportsnet and Hockey Night in Canada both saying, like, look, we'd really like it if you kept these games on the schedule, we have a relationship uh, with the NHL. So we saw the Ottawa game Saturday. Uh, the Edmonton game will go forward on Wednesday here in Toronto. So it's not it's it's nothing that anybody wants right now. And I, I do wonder, Sid, if you know Canada becomes you know one of the reasons why the salary cap doesn't go up this season. Everyone's playing with capacity limits right now. Every Canadian team. You know, Alberta's got the 50%, Quebec's got the zero. Look, we see what's happening in Toronto uh, as well. Everyone's playing with capacity limits right now. And this is going to, if this continues, significantly damage the bottom line of the NHL when, when everything's tallied up at the end of the year. It's a great point, Jeff. We've got about 30 seconds. Have we reached the stage where it's becoming yep. obvious Canadian teams won't get 82 games in? Are we there? No, they're determined. Like, I think everyone's going to have to get used to four game weeks. Like, there's going to hit, there's going to hit a point. It's a really good question, but there's going to hit a point here, Sid, where everyone is just going to have to kind of be forced to play games. Teams are going to have to play four game weeks on a consistent basis, which means we're probably going to have tired hockey players and less practice. But uh, they are determined that uh, all 32 teams get 82 games in. It is a Merrick Monday. It is an eventful Merrick Monday in every sense of the word. Jeff, appreciate you. Uh, have I, a good one, brother. I love, I love fired up Mel. By the way, she's this close to doing it, Sid. She's oh, this close. There's, I have a feeling everyone's fired up this morning, but I'm with you. <laughs> fired up Mel's my favorite Mel. Take care, brother. <laughs> it's a good Mel. It's a good Mel. Yes. Be well. There's one and only Jeff Merrick. Uh, does a terrific job, and he graces us with his presence here every Monday here on BT, and we are thankful for that.